So Togo should be next. There cannot be any justification for Fonya Singwe to continue to be in power under the watch of ECOWAS. Look, I think that ECOWAS has tolerated the situation of Togo much too much. You know what they did? In 2005, Fonya Singwe, a Yadima died. They quickly installed Fonya Singwe as president. Then it took Hufuo and Obasanjo to say no. You cannot do that. They organize symbolic elections. If you go to places like Sakode, Buffalo, Man Mango, no ballot, nobody came there to, or, or in 2005. They declared elections from those places and said that for Nasingbe had won the elections. Mm -hmm. Nobody went there. No electoral officer went into those communities. And elections were declared. In 2005, up to date, Fonya Singbe is still president of Togo, taking over from his father and probably grooming his children to come and take over from him. How do you tolerate such situation when ECOWAS is sitting down and not talking? African Union is comfortable with such situations. Go to Equatoria, Guinea. The president has appointed his son as vice president, to which the son is the higher apparent, is the successor. The African Union is happy about that. You know the son. The son is the one that will go and jerry or curly the hair. Right? And be in the nine clubs. Just as Umar, um, was it, Ali Bongo yeah. was a, a, a rock star. A rock star, yeah. You understand? Mm. Messing up. <coughs> you go and say that is the vice president. So the president and the vice president comes from the same bed. Not the same room, the same bed. We sat here. Makisal is engaging madness. Makisal is engaging madness. Yeah, Senegal, yeah. 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 You want to run for a third term, the opposition says no. You go around and use the judiciary to intimidate the judiciary so much that you say Osman Sonko had gone to rape a, a lady. You went to court, you could not prove it. And the court turned around to say that Osman Sonko's actions were corrupting the youth, for which reason he must go to jail for two years. By the time he comes out of jail, the elections for which he was going to contest is over. That is not madness. The African Union cannot talk about Senegal. The ECOWAS cannot talk about Senegal. Come on. Then you have Alassani Ouattara. Another mad one there. Who came and said, look, his term, two terms have ended. Then he anointed people anytime he anointed and said, You are going to be my successor. Why may you die? Mm. The person dies. <laughs> There's some, somehow about three people that he anointed. Then he will come back. <laughs> All of them died. Anytime he said, Oh, you will succeed me. <laughs> if it's this person, I will not contest. Then the person will die. The final one was uh, what's the name of this man? Um, Kulibali. Kulibali died mysteriously. Kulibali just broke out from the office. He couldn't get home. <laughs> he too, he died. Then after Kulibali's death, the man said, I'm going to contest again. So, can we say that you killed all those people that you claimed that they were going to succeed you? So that you can come back. And today, he got a third term. And all our presidents, in fact, Ghana's president went there to go and issue felicitations. To congratulate him. That is madness. That is coup d'etat. On the people of Cote d'Ivoire. As for Paul Bia, the least said about it. The man doesn't stay in Cameroon. Cameroon yeah. He's in Switzerland. He comes to Cameroon on National Day. He comes to Cameroon on Elections Day. And when he's coming, he cannot walk. They carry him. And then he will sit down with his grandchildren. Then they say, go and vote. He votes. When he finishes, they will carry him back to Switzerland while the elections are being counted. When the elections are declared, they bring him back to come and say he is sworn in as president. The African Union 
wants to be relevant in the face of all this kind of madness that is going on among African leaders. And these African leaders will have the temerity to come and sit at the AU and be talking. Museveni is saying, I am tired. It's okay.